Andy Graham of HoboTraveler.com. I got a good hair day here. Ugh. I'm uh, leaving uh, Skopje, uh, Macedonia, and I'm going to uh, Sofia, Bulgaria. It's about a six, six or seven hour trip. I'm just entering the bus station right now, and I'm probably 45 minutes early, which. You know, if something got wrong, I left something in the hostel, I had to bang on the door to get back in, I might need that time, right? Uh, but, you know, it's very close, I'm very close to the hostel right now, so it's uh, not a big deal. I was, but I'm going to Bulgaria, and it'll be my 99th country. I'm going to uh, go back through all my countries to make sure which one's there. But uh, I'm looking for some food now, and I'm, oh, they got some bread in here, so I'm pretty happy. Yeah, they got a lot. This is my breakfast. It's quite long, and cost me 25 of the local money, which is probably about 35 cents. Um, I'm definitely weak for bread products. Okay, I'm I'm real early. I'm obviously the first one here, but I get motion sickness or car sick or you know seasick or whatever you want to call this really bad. So I know better than to you know this is first come first serve seating, festival seating on the bus. So I I'll get in and I'll go right behind the front wheels, just about second seat. Make sure there's a window that has no uh, condensation in it from the uh, two panes of glass. Sometimes. They, they broke. They break the seal, and they have condensation. You you can't see out of them. And uh, make sure I have a nice seat. Be one of the first ones on the bus, and make it enjoyable. Because uh, five six hour trip of being car sick is is torture. And you got to know whether you get car sick or don't get car sick, and then know how to sit inside a bus, a train, a, bu a, a plane. On a plane, you should be just above the wings almost. On a bus, you should be behind, just behind the front wheels. Maybe just a little bit farther than, not right on top of them, but, but what makes you car sick is the, the bouncing up and down. That's in the back. Da, 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 da. Bouncing up and down makes you car sick. I tend to think that uh, uh, people with extremely good balance, I had really good balance when I was playing basketball. I think extremely good balance means yes, we get car sick easy. The bus just took off and we're leaving it's just sunrise, right? In Skopje, Macedonia. Um, one of the most... Uh, there's some seat space here for your knees in this type of bus. I don't know what brand of bus this is, but I had to move seats actually because I couldn't get my legs in. Um, but you have to really look at the spaces sometimes to see whether or not there's enough space for your, your legs. Then choose the seat. But, I'm on the way to Bulgaria. Seems to be a toll road.
Kids begging. Yes. For some reason it got really uh, foggy. Somehow I entered a Dell or something like that. Becoming more mountainous, more hilly. Soils not being farmed as well either. We're still in uh, Macedonia. tree here is kind of white and tall, very vertical, very hard to photo because of the brush alongside the road. See these white trees there? Here's a, I don't know, it's, maybe it's the same tree, maybe it's a different tree. This is a very unusual tree. I've never seen a tree like this. We're still in Macedonia. Approaching the border. Okay, it's 9.21, we left at 6, so it's, uh, no, 7 to me, so, hey. 7, we left at 7, so it's 2 hours and 20 minutes to get through the uh, Bulgarian border. From Skopje, Macedonia, to the Bulgarian border. We're through it. Okay, it's Andy Graham of HoboTraveler.com. I just crossed into Bulgaria and 
States, my 99th country. I'll have another seven or eight by the time I leave Europe here. Going to um, Malta, you, uh, Romania, uh, Moldova, Ukraine, Georgia, Armenia, and uh, Azores, Portugal. Oh, plus Greece. Okay, this is my van between um, Skopje, Macedonia, and Sofia, Bulgaria. Andy Graham of HoboTraveler.com, and uh, I'm in Bulgaria now. We're stopping for, just got across the border, and we're, we stopped for, I guess, a cigarette, toilet, and something break. I can understand the other word. But we're at a little restaurant like thing. There's an interesting building up here on the hill. Some kind of church. Everybody's checking their phone. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm in a little shop. Bought some pretzels. I'll share them on the bus. There's way too many for this one person. Hey, this is the Walls. Walls ice cream. They're everywhere on the planet, but they changed their name, but the logo stays the same. I want them to advertise on my website. I'm in Bulgaria. Feeding the dog pretzels. <laughs> you want more? Feeding the dog pretzels. <laughs> you want more?
arriving at the bus stop in Sofia. Okay, I've arrived in SoboTraveler.com. I've arrived in uh, Sofia at the bus station. I think it's right next to the train station. Pretty modern place. So, uh, I'll give you a 360 here. I want to go to Plav, I think, for a couple of days, so they leave every couple of hours, so every two or three per hour, so I really don't have to worry much about the bus right now. Buses. This is uh, really modern. Now, if I can find a road, I want. I think this is a train station. It says Gare Centrale Sofia. That in, that's French down there. I don't know what they got down there. It must be some kind of atrium area. I'm going up to this street, turning left. I hope I had a young man help me that spoke English. I'm finding some backpackers in front of me. I think they got off the train, so maybe they already been in the country. So I'll follow them a little bit. It's on the same highway, so I guess I'm okay. I think they're from the Netherlands, at least the one on the left is with two backpacks. You might be carrying his girls. Okay, I've arrived. Um, not, not exactly any of the directions were sort of screwed up and all the times were like 10 minutes fast each one so so I'm in the right place Hostel Mostel looks pretty nice, a lot of common area big kitchen what's your name? Stefan Stefan, this, this is the first, this guy's given me an absolute <laughs> explanation of the map, set me down, explained the rules Probably the best introduction I've ever had in a hostel. Glad you like uh, it. Are you Bulgarian? Yes, indeed. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, so I arrived at the hostel mostel. Must have been at least a 35 minute walk. Here's the door over here. <laughs> 